If you're standing too close to the rock, you can't crouch. So I went for kind of a risky jump and I died because of it. Yeah, if they don't want to commentate, then I'll, I'll just practice something and come up with something cool to say. There's plenty of stuff to say about this game. And, I, I don't know, the commentary kind of writes itself. It's like, kind of full of just weird memes, so. That's bad. Alright, it worked out. That was a little... I cut it a little bit close. If you uh, jump too early there, then you can die. That turtle's hitbox is kind of janky. You'll like land on the turtle, but then it'll put you on top of the pit and you'll just fall into the pit and die instead of normally killing the turtle and landing like I did there. Okay, good pterodactyl spawns so far. Good. Alright, we made it there. That part at the end there is really, really bad. If a pterodactyl spawns there, there's basically nothing you can do about it. It was a good time. Now we just have to hope that stage four is obliging. Uh, that's not the strat though. All right, well. What? All right, I don't know what I got killed by there. I guess this is a stage four not being obliging. What was that? Did I, I? I don't know what that was. I guess my best guess would be that that rock has a Kaizo ant underneath and uh, maybe they can like sometimes kill you underground if your hitbox is in a weird spot. That or maybe like an invisible pterodactyl. Those are the only two things I can think of. Oh, this is bad. Alright, it's fine. Alright, well we died, so we don't have to take an intentional death here. But we messed up this stupid strat, so... Yeah, that was close. <sighs> that strat is hard, and I might drop it for the marathon. I don't know what I'll come up with as a backup, but it is really difficult. And I was standing on the wrong pixel there. I could have been killed by that tiger. I'm so brave today. I've just been like randomly going for that strat, which saves like a second, but is like way riskier than the normal strat. And I haven't failed it yet, but it's not really worth it to save a second. But I don't know. It's been working out for me so far. This rock pile, I swear. Alright. This is 
is exactly why we implemented the top rod strat there so that it doesn't lose time and you avoid that crocodile when it spawns. So now there's only one RNG crocodile that you can get killed by and it happens, I don't know, maybe like 5% of the time or something. One. Oh, no. <laughs> this rock is so hard to grab too. Three and out. For some reason, that like end of level screen you can cut short. I don't know why it is with that one exactly, but the other ones you can't. All right. Well, we're kind of on a good pace, so I'm gonna go for B skip. That's also a, like, kind of difficult trick that doesn't save very much time. Alright, we're low on energy, so we're gonna get killed by this turtle here. Getting killed by the turtle is way faster than getting killed by the elephant. Oh, nice coconut RNG. That's, that's one of the fastest coconut RNGs I've ever seen. It's a little awkward to wait for that guy, but better safe than sorry. Alright, that was slow. I could have done that way faster, but... Oh my god, I can't believe that I didn't get killed by that guy. <laughs> Three... Four... I seriously am still kind of incredulous that I didn't get killed by that guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And time. That's another four second world record, I'll take it. <laughs>